Hello students. Hello, welcome to my session. How are you guys today? Hello Yashvi, hello Debo Priya, Lavanya, Priya. Good evening guys. Hello Mike. Good evening Monica. Good evening Khyati, Chanda, Bibhu Dutta, Anaga. Hello guys. Good to know that Yashvi. Even I am excited. Good evening Monica, Swati. Good evening Komal. How are you guys today? I am very happy that many of you are joining me for all of my sessions on the app as well as on YouTube. So good to see so many students learning from me throughout the day. Thank you guys. Good evening Madhuri. Let's wait for everyone to join the session and then start. Yes, Yashvi, special thanks to you. You were available or you were present for all the sessions. My best wishes to you. I hope you become an officer in a bank soon. Good evening, Muskan. Good evening, Vikash, Monica, Devapriya, Prasad. Minu. Good evening, Antra. Hello, Raj. Raj is se bhi zyada aenge. You will score more than 15 marks. Your performance will improve, Raj. Don't worry. Be regular. Attend all these sessions. Good evening, Sardna. Sardna, were you absent yesterday? I don't remember reading your comments yesterday, Sardna Sharma. Good evening, Satrugna. Good evening, Antra. Good evening, Sahiti, Bisakha, Neha, Shanmati. Barsha, Virendra, Manju, Vivek. So guys, let's start the session. I think quite a few have joined in. We have more than 50 students now, both on the app together, on the app and YouTube, I guess. So let's start the session. Hello, Swapnil, Nagarjun. Okay, okay, Sardna. That's okay. Welcome Monica, this is your first day. So warm welcome not just from me, but also from all the all your fellow students. Good evening Safina, Sankal, Pintu Kumar. Welcome Pintu Kumar, Nagar, your first session, so warm welcome on the app. Hello Arush, Vivek, Manju. Good evening guys. Sorry, by the way, yesterday I realized by the time I ended my session, there were more than 50 likes. I had promised that I would dance if there were more than 50 likes. And I, I honestly did not check the number of likes. It's only after the session ended that I saw that there were, I guess, 50, 51 likes. I don't know the situation now for yesterday's session. So I did want to keep my promise, but my eye wasn't on the number of likes. And the 50 likes, uh, you cross 50 likes probably at the end of the session. So I wasn't looking at that number. Yes, we'll be discussing, uh, yes Priya, we'll be discussing descriptive questions also. We have a series of sessions lined up on YouTube as well as on the app. So in my paid batch, there are separate sessions, but even on YouTube, I will be conducting some free sessions for the main exam. Welcome, Rinal. Welcome. So anyway, thank you guys. So let's start. It's five minutes past nine o'clock. 
more than 50 students have joined in on the app yes great great almost 70 students more than 70 students welcome guys so let's start the session we'll be dealing with sentence rearrangement the first few questions are easy we'll be discussing eight questions eight the first couple of questions are easy and then the difficulty level goes on increasing progressively so i want you to answer these questions with 100 percent accuracy at least the first few ones you get 20 seconds for the first few questions and then 30 seconds for the next four questions okay your time starts now okay sorry i forgot i have to introduce myself uh, before each session really sorry guys so i'll just rush through my introduction my name is Abhishek Gaike. I've completed my BE in Computer Science and Engineering, my PGDB in Banking. I'm a former manager. I used to work in ICICI Bank at its head office in Bandra Kurla Complex uh, in the Global Markets Group. I work specifically in foreign exchange. Uh, as far as government exams are concerned, I was selected as an officer in State Bank of India, State Bank of Hyderabad, Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank, LIC, National Insurance. I've been selected in, uh, I was selected in RBI with an All India rank of 6. Uh, I cleared SSC CGL with an All India rank of 49. That's it. Uh, so let's move on. First question on your screens. This one was very easy for the first first four questions you get 20 seconds each and for the next four questions you get 30 seconds. This is very easy you don't you don't even need 20 seconds 10 seconds are more than enough. What's the answer guys three okay on the app almost everyone's saying three okay okay. Sorry, I did not read a few comments. Good evening to those who joined it late. Okay, hello. Hello, Guruji. Hello, Mansi. Everyone's saying three on the app. Let's see. Yes, the target should be eight out of eight. Very good. Okay. So on YouTube, everyone's saying three. Let's see what the answer is. Yes, yes. Favorite topic, Sardna. Okay. So that's the answer. I've given this, I've given the complete sentence here. So you can read it. All living things need water to grow, develop, and live. So E, all living. Then B, beings. Beings, not things, all living beings need water to grow develop and live this was very easy because there was only one option which had e as the first sentence so if you or the first part so if you realize e is the first one just read it in that sequence but in some uh, questions you will see that all four options start with the same letter in that case you have to look for the second word or the second part Okay, I guess everyone has got this. This was easy. Just a warm up question. Let's start. Sentence number two on your screens. You get 20 seconds, guys. Mind you, try to answer within 20 seconds. Question number two on your screens now. stop now pay attention there's one option with d but d starts with a verb which is why this probably isn't the first part this is not the right answer probably but there are three options 
which start with B. So what's the answer guys? Let me read the comments. 1, 2, 1, 2. 2 is not the answer guys. I told you, has traditionally. That's wrong. Let me read the comments on you uh, on the app. Okay, 1, 4, 3. Okay, 1, 1, 1. Most of you on the app are saying 1. On YouTube also, yes, quite a few 1s. Let's see what the answer is. Obviously, 1. The relationship between India and Japan. So see, when you use between, we're talking about two things. I'm not even looking at the options. First, I just saw between. So between India, one country, and Japan. So I know there should be CE in the options. And then I look at B, the relationship between. So yes, relationship between two countries. So B, C, E, that's the only one. In fact, there's only one option with C and E, which is this one. This has E, C, which is wrong. And even this has E, C, which is wrong. But we have none of these. So you should read. Uh, once you mark the answer, once you realize that this is the answer, if you're very sure, just to confirm this, to be doubly sure, read it in this sequence. The relationship between India and Japan has traditionally been strong. So that's the answer. I guess most of you got us correct. The level of difficulty will increase. Okay. So let's see. Yes, this was easy. Now question number three on your screens now. Stop guys. This is easy but now you've got just 20 seconds and you have to give the answer as soon as possible. So yes. Sorry Mike, I just saw your comment. You will have to practice for fluency in English. As far as spoken English is concerned, you will have to read a lot, listen to good English. Rather, reading is not compulsory. You should read a lot. You should listen to a lot of English and then try speaking. So a slightly different approach for spoken English as compared to what we do for English uh, in competitive exams. So anyway, uh, most of you are saying two. Okay, on YouTube. I'm reading the comments on YouTube. Let me see the comments on the app. Okay, one, one. Okay, one, two, 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 two. Okay, most of you are saying two on the app also. Okay, let's see. Now, See, basically, all these options have A as the first letter. There is also one option. There's the none of these option. But looking at A everywhere, you can say this with a fair degree of certainty that this is probably the first sentence. So, crew members in a Russian spacecraft at the International Space Station repair a tiny hole. Okay. Read these options. This is tricky, guys. Don't be in a hurry. I'm just reading this the way you have answered it. Crew members, this one, first one, in a Russian spacecraft, a tiny hole. So you see, repaired a tiny hole. This word would fit, would go along with this part. So CE seems logical. Repaired a tiny hole. So A, crew members at the international. Now again, at the international space station. So I know there's CE. Repaired a tiny hole. And I also know at the international space station. So C after D. So DCE, look at the options. This is the only option which is DCE and that's why 2 is the answer. So the answer is 2. Crew members. Crew means people who work aboard or who work on a ship of a spacecraft or an aeroplane 
or even a ship in the ocean in the sea people who work there are known as crew members basically in an aircraft the people who uh, the pilot the assistant pilot these people are called the crew members whereas typically we have a separate word for people who provide beverages they provide a service they are known as flight attendants flight steward and flight stewardess air hostess for women so guys i hope uh, this was easy guys this wasn't difficult it was not as easy as the first two questions but again this was easy guys i hope you're understanding this because today we'll be discussing a mix of easy and difficult questions let me just read the youtube comments okay there's a slight lag uh in youtube so i see your comments after 5 or 10 seconds on youtube <laughs> yeah i know it wasn't easy it was so the level of difficulty will increase question number 4 on your screens now now the sentence is easy but the options are given in a way that will confuse you be careful i won't give you any hint this session is conducted exclusively in english so if you are not comfortable with english you can attend hindi sessions at 6 pm every day yes session keval angrezi mein liya jata hai यहां पर इस सेशन में हिंदी का प्रयोग नहीं होता है किंतु अगर आपको हिंदी ज्यादा समझती है या हिंदी में पढ़ाया गया अच्छा अच्छे से अच्छा समझता है तो मैं आपसे अनुरोध करूंगा आप 6 बजे डेली सेशन होते हैं वोकैबलरी और ग्रामर के वो अटेंड कीजिए इस सेशन में हम हिंदी का प्रयोग नहीं करते हैं so some of you are very confident while giving the answer let me read the comments on the app okay 3 so anyway let's see now b is the first letter in three options kalari payattu i i hope you know what kalari payattu is it's a very popular martial art it's an art form a martial art kalari payattu is is art would be wrong is an ancient martial you cannot say system because we've said an ancient martial art of kerala and one of the oldest fighting systems in the world so one of the oldest So guys if you've attended my grammar sessions on the app you know if we use one of the the noun should be plural one of the oldest fighting these are adjectives systems is plural so after e we need c after e we need c look at this this option doesn't have it this option doesn't have it there are two options with ec right and both start with b but kalari payattu is one of the oldest fighting systems in the world so bec seems okay in the world kalari payattu is one of the oldest fighting see bec is okay this part is okay kalari payattu is one of the oldest fighting systems in the world 
and then suddenly an ancient martial art this is wrong which is why this option goes away we still have none of these so let me read it in this sequence bdaec kalari payattu is an ancient martial art of uh, kerala and one of the oldest fighting systems in the world this seems okay so the answer is three you can read the sentence here kalari payattu is an ancient martial art of kerala and one of the oldest fighting systems in the world guys i hope you've got this i know this was comparatively difficult so let me read the comments on youtube i think kalari payattu is famous it's it originated in kerala i'm not sure whether it's popular in tamil nadu but it originated in kerala it's it's popular it's an ancient traditional art form a martial art okay so how many if you got 4 out of 4 sanjay 4 out of 4 bn creation 4 out of 4 prajakta 4 out of 4 anushri 3 out of 3 okay i'm reading the comments on youtube how many if you got 4 out of 4 these were a bit easy yes satrugna uh, i i really love hindi i love speaking in good standard hindi because in maharashtra from where i come aurangabad the the hindi is slightly different it's closer to hyderabadi hindi so during these sessions uh, i try as much as possible to speak in standard good hindi there's nothing like good or bad hindi it's just that uh, i try to speak in shuddh hindi the north indian hindi it's a very good experience for me also Okay, Mike four out of five, four, very good. Deepak four out of four, Madhuri four out of four, Sunidhi three out of four is okay. Komal three out of four, okay. Let me read the comments on YouTube. Yes, guy three, my mother tongue is Marathi. Okay, three out of four, three out of four. Lavanya very good. Namneet very good. Pintu Kumar four out of four, very good. Minu Gayatri good guys. Barsha Samiksha Sai okay. Three is also okay, no problem. Yashvi, Anaga, Priya, Priyomani, okay, Swati, Nalini. Quite a few of you got four out of four. Shanmati, good, good. Now the tricky questions, right? Pay attention. Now you get thirty seconds per question. So don't be in a hurry. Read the question carefully and then answer. The sentences. uh the uh, the sentences in the next four questions are slightly longer okay question number 5 on your screens now Thirty seconds are up, guys. What's the answer? Come on. The sentence isn't very straightforward or easy, but still, I wouldn't call it difficult. Okay, most of you on the app are saying two. Okay, okay. Let me read the comments on YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, guys, very good. Most of you are correct. very good guys now again the first letter b b b b and then second letter d d here c and e it remains essential to to we will look for a verb after this you can check the options and then read the sentence 
or looking at the sentence you know it remains essential to and then a verb to fight against the dark forces so this is uh, this hint is more than enough guys which is why this is the answer although there is an option with bd but then you you can look at c to fight against the dark forces of communalism so bdc is the sequence and then ea so to kindle is i hope you understand what the sentence means so it is important to fight against something negative the dark forces of communalism see communism is different and communalism is different the pronunciation is communism communist communalism so communalism means discrimination based on religion typically based on religion or caste that's communalism so discrimination based on someone's race is called racism based on caste there's a separate word casteism so based on religion communalism and to kindle to light l i g h t to light a fire so these are dark forces there's darkness so you light a candle to kindle the light you makes you bring brightness into the world so this is a positive thing harmony and communalism is something negative okay so that sentence number 5 not very easy but also not difficult okay question number and quite a few of you were correct yes yes guys in hindi jalana bilkul yes yes <laughs> you are navneet answered in 28 seconds okay okay yes manasi kindle can also mean arouse or inspire the literal meaning is to light something light a match kindle uh, a candle or something like that but yes it does mean arouse or inspire yes you are correct so guys uh question number 6 on your screens now stop guys 30 seconds are up what's the answer okay now only a few students are answering earlier everyone answered yes devo priya kindle means set something on fire you are very correct that's like the proper definition very good devopriya das okay let's see 24141411 okay let me see the comments 333 then 444 okay so on youtube most of you are saying 4 some of you are saying 3 okay 3434 three, uh guys so no some of you are even saying 1 okay so no agreement on the answer let's see what the answer is because i'm getting different answers guys look at this so there are two options with e there's one option with d and there's one option with a so let's check e fashion retailers sort past tense of seek is sort so the past tense of seek to search or demand to ask for something to search for something to demand fashion retailers sort then c c now look two letters are the same e c e c so let's check this way fashion retailers sort government support yes p 
पीपल सीख पीपल वॉट पीपल डिमांड पीपल आस्क फॉर गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट फैशन रिटेलर सॉट गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट टू ईज टू रिलैक्स टू ईज बी टू ईज फंड फ्लो ओके एंड टू कॉम्पेंसेट फॉर एसेंशियल एक्सपेंसिस लाइक वेंडर पेमेंट रेंट्स एंड सैलरीज दिस और लेट्स सी वॉट फोर्स इज फैशन रिटेलर सॉट गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट टू ईज देन ए टू ईज for essential expenses like guys i hope you understand i hope you've understood what the answer is look the answer is e please please ask your queries in the comment section yes vendor is a supplier guys supplier raj you ask what vendor payment means so the fashion retailers the shops those who sell fashionable clothes products they have vendors suppliers and those suppliers need to be paid so vendor payment I'm just going through your comments, guys. Let me check out the comments on YouTube now. Okay. <laughs> very good, Raj. Six out of six. Sanjay, six five out of six. Very good. DN Creation, six out of six. Great. Four is not correct, Hemant. That's why I first compared the two options. look at this so in option 4 the first two letters are the same fashion retailers sought government support to ease to ease is basically what do you ease what do you make easy to ease for this is wrong we never say to ease for something the use of for is wrong even if you check the other letters you will realize to ease for essential expenses like vendor payments rents and salaries and after this suddenly rents and salaries fund flow and to compensate so this letter if you put it at the end this part it makes no sense which is why 4 is wrong and 1 is correct you read it in this sequence i've given the sequence here guys have you understood this in case there are any doubts please ask in the exam dn creation the reason why you don't have such accuracy in the exam is because typically in an exam you're under stress you're worried there is a sense of anxiety whereas now you are very relaxed you are at home probably lying on your sofa or or on your bed checking out the questions on your mobile and that's why because of the relaxing atmosphere lack of anxiety and stress you can focus properly jai shri no it's not necessary but it's usually the case it's usually the case but it's not necessary that majority options have the same alphabet and that's the most likely answer that's not the case okay let's let's move on let's move on question number 7 on your screens now stop stop guys what's the answer okay
ओके ऑन यूट्यूब आई एम सींग फोर अच्छा राज यू फील एंक्शियस ऑन यूट्यूब ओके नॉट इन दी एग्जाम गुड गुड फोर ओके मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर वेरी श्योर सी ऑल दो दिस सेंटेंस इज डिफिकल्ट ऑल द ऑप्शन हैव अ डिफरेंट लेटर एज द फर्स्ट पार्ट Okay, most of you are saying four. Some of you are saying two. Swetha Kumari is saying three. Okay, now see, check the first letters. E, are committed to providing. First letter E, are committed to providing. This doesn't make sense. Wrong. Then let's check two. Our great sport and the nation. For everyone involved in again doesn't make a lot of sense. Check check the first letter. So you, this is definitely not the answer, guys. One is not the answer. E cannot be the first letter. Check D A and C. You look at these options. Are committed to providing. See the BCCI and all its stakeholders. Then they should be doing something. Are committed to providing. So you can see CE. What do they want to provide? See to providing, and then a safe and healthy environment. So after E. A, you can see this in option two. You can see this in option four. So C E A, the B C C I, and all its stakeholders are committed to providing. After two, this is a gerund. I have taught this in my grammar sessions on the app, guys. If there is a verb after two, it's in the base form B one. Whereas A gerund is a noun. A verb that is used as a noun. A verb with the ing uh, extension. Anyway, so uh, C E A, the B C C I and all its stakeholders are committed to providing a safe and healthy environment for whom, for everyone involved in our great sport and the nation. So a safe and healthy environment. so a safe and healthy environment for whom for the for the sport and for the nation so this seems correct answer is obviously four read the sentence carefully lavanya you can see the options first and then read the sentence or read these parts and then look at the options Ideally, I would say first read the sentence and find links or chains. But that's not compulsory. That's the way I do it. But I'm I'm quite sure you will be able to do it even if you look at the options first. Yashvi, uh, where, where do you stay? You said in which city? I mean, you commented barish ho rahi hai. I don't know where it's raining. So seven out of seven guys, great. Guruji, then Shanmati, Priya, Anaga, good, good, very good guys. Yes, Priya, that's a great strategy. Priya Agarwal, it's a good strategy. Minu Das, very good. Seven out of seven. So Gayatri, you'll have to practice a lot. Then you won't make mistakes. So this was slightly more difficult. Let me read the comments on YouTube. P N up name. Batai apka main name lunga. Sorry, I just saw your comment. Okay, in Delhi. Okay. Yes, yes, D N creation. I agree. 
without looking at the options first if you look at the sentence the parts of the sentence and try to form chains or pairs you will your accuracy will improve in most cases okay okay so dn creation raj sarna sharma 7 out of 7 okay yes good <laughs> yes so anyway last question for today guys we'll be discussing only eight questions today i wasn't sure how much time this would take so instead of discussing 10 sentences i decided to discuss only eight sentences question number eight the last question for the day on your screens now Stop guys, stop, what's the answer? 30 seconds are over. Heyman, the approach ideally should be reading the various parts. If the sentence is short, if there are longer sentences, then you can also look at the options. It should be a mix of both strategies. Do whatever is comfortable. In the end, it's the accuracy that matters. Again, this isn't very difficult. It's just that the sentence is quite long. There are two options which start with B and there are two options which start with D. Be careful. Don't be in a hurry. I'll wait for your answer. Let me read the comments. Okay. Okay, Yashvi, I just saw your comment. Ghaziabad. Okay. I think uh, the entire Delhi NCR region experienced rainfall. In Haryana, yes. Okay. Gayatri, there's no separate book as such. You can check out uh, memory based questions and attend all these sessions. Okay, okay, video stopped. No, I, I can, uh, Gayatri, I can see this. I mean, th uh, there's some network problem at your end. The video is fine. Okay. Okay, 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 three. Most of you are saying three. Okay, let's see what the answer is. So the answer is three. See, you look at chains covering almost all parts of all parts of parts of then city name eb and you look at this there are two options quite similar see deb deb once you realize d is the first sentence see b cannot be the first part Mumbai as the northern suburbs doesn't make sense. Mumbai as the northern suburbs. Whereas you read this, the coronavirus infection is slowly covering all parts of. So this first, then to all parts of, and then the name of the city, Mumbai. So comma. There may or may not be a comma, but just you can pause because then there's another clause. The coronavirus infection is covering, is slowly covering almost all parts of Mumbai. So one clause as the northern suburbs, northern suburbs of which city of Mumbai are now showing a worrying spike increase. A spike is an increase in the number of new infections. So obviously C is the answer. Guys, this wasn't very difficult. 
It's just that it was a long sentence. Yes, the more you read, the better you will be. Yes, exactly, Gayatri. The reason the examiner is given AC and CA is to con uh, confuse you. But it is also a hint that the answer is most likely out of the two options, two or three. It, it confuses you, but at the same time, it's, it also gives you a hint. Thank you. Thank you, Meenu. If you like this class on the app, you can rate me out of five. And on YouTube, you can give a thumbs up. Guys, there are more than 50 students watching on YouTube. There are more than 50 students. In fact, 60 plus students on the app. So more than 100 students attended this session today. I'm really thankful, but I need your likes, your ratings. If you don't like it, you can give a dislike. If you don't like it, you can rate me poorly on the app. But please give some feedback. So anyway, this is the schedule for, the, for this week. So on Friday this week, that is tomorrow, I will finish my session, my week with para numbers, the old pattern questions for the 9 p.m. session. Please uh, check out our daily YouTube schedule sessions at 8, 9 and 10 p.m. are conducted in English. Okay. And if you're interested, we, we are launching another batch for SBI and IBPSPO. This will be an English batch. An English batch means English, math, reasoning, general knowledge. All will be taught in English. So if you're interested, please join this batch. And this will be a 120 day study plan, a comprehensive course. So there are two batches already. One is a bilingual batch in Hindi and there's another batch in English. So we'll be launching a second English batch soon. Please join the current batch. You don't have to wait for the new batch because I've just covered two or three topics. And those topics, those sessions are available as recordings in the app. And just check out the features of this of this course. There are more than 200 live classes, English, math, reasoning and general knowledge combined. 7000 plus practice questions, more than 70 mock tests and complete coverage of quant reasoning, English and general awareness. Don't wait for SBI to declare the vacancies. Start preparing now. OK, so we're at the end of our session. Let's stop here. Thank you very much for being part of this. Let's see you tomorrow. Same time, same channel, same teacher, same host. Jai Hind.